Good evening, aspirants. In this video, let us discuss about India Bhutan relationship. See, recently, Bhutan is normalizing its relationship with China, and it is a major concern for India. So, in this video, let us discuss what are the historical perspective of India Bhutan relationship and what are the concerns for India regarding this relationship. Let us get into the video. See, Bhutan is an interesting country in the world. For example, if you take all the countries, they measure their economic growth using GDP that is gross domestic product. But Bhutan measures its growth using gross national happiness. This shows that Bhutan values more about economic development rather than economic growth. See Bhutan is a buffer state between India and China. It is acting as a safeguard for India's Siliguri corridor which is present between Bhutan and West Bengal. This Siliguri corridor is very important for India because it helps us to access the northeastern states. If the Chinese presence is coming near to Bhutan, then it is a danger for India. Looking at the history, Indian saint called Padmasambhava visited Bhutan during 8th century and he stayed there and spread Buddhism in Bhutan. Now, Bhutan is one of the important Buddhist countries in Southeast Asia. Now, fast forward to modern times, Bhutan remained as a British protectorate under British India. After India got independence in 1947, Bhutan maintained the same friendly relationship with India. In 1949, both the countries signed a treaty called Treaty of Friendship. According to this treaty, India and Bhutan agreed to maintain peace and cooperation and this treaty allowed India to advise Bhutan on foreign policy. This treaty was revised only in 2007 and it gave full independence and autonomy to Bhutan. India was the first country to recognize Bhutan as an independent nation and India was also the first country to open an embassy in Bhutan. In 1971, when Bhutan wanted to join United Nations, India backed its membership. Regarding economic relationship, India is the largest trading partner of Bhutan. India is buying the hydropower from Bhutan and it is also funding the infrastructure projects and hydropower projects in Bhutan. An interesting thing to note here is that Bhutan is a carbon negative country. It means Bhutan absorbs more carbon than it is emitting. Regarding security cooperation, India helped Bhutan to stop the Chinese infiltration into Doklam Plateau in 2017. India is also giving training to Bhutanese security forces and Indian military is stationed in Bhutan to train their security forces. India has also launched a satellite called South Asian Satellite as a gift to South Asia. Bhutan is also one of the country who had benefited from this satellite. India has helped Bhutan during COVID-19 pandemic by sending vaccines as a part of Vaccine Maitri initiative. In recent times, Bhutan is normalizing its diplomatic relationship with China. This is seriously a major concern for India. If Bhutan build a stronger relationship with China, then it could weaken India's influence over Bhutan. If China extend its economic assistance and infrastructure projects to Bhutan, then it could reduce the dependency of Bhutan on India. Already countries like Maldives and Sri Lanka, who are the neighboring countries of India, are accepting the infrastructure projects and economic assistance from China. As we have seen, Bhutan is the closest ally of India from 1949. India-Bhutan bilateral relationship is one of the friendliest relationship in the world. And if Bhutan is aligning with China, it means it is a serious concern for India's foreign policy. Let us wait and see what will happen. 